Hello and thanks for joining us for a new Simplicon tutorial. Today we'll show you how to create a hollow shell by using Simplicon's aggregation processor. First let's look at what a hollow shell is and why it's so useful. In this example we're using a lot of rocks to create a larger pile of rocks. These are built by kit bashing all these pieces together and when you build them like this you tend to use the same asset quite often but placed in different positions and rotations and so on. This means that they're also sharing the same material. However, we're also creating something that has a lot of overlapping internal geometry that would never be seen by a player. This could cause extra shadow computation and increase the overall polygon count unnecessarily. We might be fine with the draw cores, but ideally we want to reduce this down to something simpler. Creating a hollow shell will remove most of those pesky interior faces whilst maintaining the overall look of the mesh. You will barely notice the difference, but your frame rate will. Okay, let's get started on reducing this asset we'll be using the aggregation processor in combination with geometry culling and whilst we're at it, we'll throw in some ground clipping as well. So first of all, I'll add in a cube and I'll scale this up to a decent size to act as our ground. Positioning it around here looks about right to me. Great, now I'll add that to a new set that I'll call clipping. Okay, on to Simplicon. I'll open the plugin tab and then add a basic aggregation pipeline. No material casting here as we're maintaining the same materials. Now I'll open aggregation settings. We want to make sure that merge geometries is checked. We also want to enable geometry culling as well. I'll leave the culling precision slider at 0.5 for now. Increasing this adds accuracy but it takes more time. Next I'll check use clipping geometry to make sure this asset is going to get those bottom polygons removed using the ground plane we made earlier and I'll select that in the set name drop down. Great, that should be it. So before we process, we're looking at 256,000 polygons. Let's start the process and see what we can get it down to. Great, that looks like it worked nicely. We now have 78,000 polys for an almost identical asset. Fantastic. Let's quickly import this into Unreal and then we'll show you how you can complete this full process directly within Unreal. Okay, so I won't go into too much detail about how to import the asset, but I'll very quickly show the process for this context. I've got my old rock pile here, unoptimized. I'm going to grab my optimized export from Maya and drag that into the content browser. I'll leave all the settings at default, but I'll just make sure that I'm not importing any textures. I don't need to import textures for this unoptimized rock asset as they already exist in Engine, I just need to assign them. Okay, great, that's imported. I'll drag that into my level. We can see that the new mesh is untextured, so I'll just go ahead and reassign the materials and textures, cross-referencing to what was used in my unoptimized mesh. Great, that looks like it worked correctly and all materials applied. As you can see, far fewer polygons but barely any visual difference. If I lift both of these assets up, you can also see that our clipping plane worked really well, and a lot of that interior geometry has been removed. Okay, let's quickly show you how to use the UE4 plugin for the same process. So I'm in our Simply Gone Walk in the Park environment here, and I've got the hollow shell rock pile over here. First, I'm going to create our clipping plane. I'll go up to the Simply Gone plugin icon and click Clipping Plane. Then I'll search for Clipping Plane in our outliner and find the handy gizmo that the plugin has created for us. I'll make sure I click Add to add a cutting plane. Then I'll adjust the transform so that the big green plane sits just below my rock pile. Nice, that looks good to me. You'll see that I've got all these rocks in a group already just for convenience. So with them all selected, I'll go up to Window and click Stand in Outliner. I'll then click Create to add my rocks to the outliner. Then making sure I've got the asset selected, I set the pipeline method to Near. Remember, Near is the aggregation processor and Far is the remeshing processor. Near just means the mesh is intended to be viewed up close, which it is in our case. In Aggregation Settings, I'm going to click Enable Geometry Culling, just like we did in Maya. In Visibility Settings, I'll make sure Cull Occluded Geometry is checked. This will remove all those polygons that are clipping within each other, caused by all these kit-bashed rocks. In Geometry Culling Settings, I'll check Use Clipping Planes to enable the use of the plane we just placed. And that should be it. We're not going to cast any materials here, as we're just going to use the original UVs and textures, so I'll just click Build to start the process. Great, that's all done. Mesh reduced. We've removed plenty of those internal polygons, but we maintained the original UV layout. Simplygon is such a simple, quick and effective tool for kitbashing workflows like these. 
We hope you've enjoyed this Holoshell tutorial. For more information about our suite of tools and documentation, head to simplygone.com. Remember to hit the subscribe button and follow our social media channels to stay up to date with the latest news and tutorials from Simplygone.